The new state-of-the-art high school in Killingly is dealing with a problem that may be anything but high-tech. And moisture is somehow seeping into the gymnasium floor, causing it to buckle in spots. It hasn't slowed down student-athletes, but as News 8 senior to tell shows us, it's getting a low grade from administrators. Well, here at Killingly High, if you don't make a basket, you can't blame the floor, even though supposedly there's something wrong with it. The problem was first detected when the expansion joints closed up in the summer, which happens when floorboards swell from humidity. The problem is those gaps never reopened like they're supposed to when the heat was turned on. Uh, but in some places you can feel a slight ribbing. Principal Andrew Rocket says it's tough to see, but individual boards are cupping, meaning the edges have curled up. Turns out there is water underneath the concrete slab. We heard a gurgling sound from one of the fans, and when we explored, there appeared to be water in the radon pipes. Is it safe? That's my first consideration. Mm -hmm. um, and then is it usable? And from my perspective, it is safe and it is usable. But it will need to be fixed eventually. Because you don't know whether it's going to get worse. You don't know whether it's doing any damage to the underside of the floor that we can't see. Fixing or replacing the floor could be costly in the hundreds of thousands of dollars, a hefty expense especially since the school just opened last year. We have the time to explore and figure out what the real cause is. Then we can come up with this, the right solution and only do this once. For now, life goes on in this gym. We have a phys ed class going on right now. And then later this week, a girls basketball game and a wrestling match. On the scene in Killingly, Tina Detell, News 8.